How are your roads? You know, we, we go to the trouble to build both lanes. What is it about the lack of walking paths when I'm with you? <laughs> How are you so stuck? This doesn't happen in the United States. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Isle of Mull, a beautiful, beautiful afternoon on the Isle of Mull. And I am joined by the infamous Mr. Nick Page. There he is. And yeah, we, we, uh, we've been on the island, well I've been on the island for only a couple of hours. I think Nick's been here for a day or two. And we're just having a drive. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely afternoon. It's been, um, I believe it's been quite miserable. It has. Uh, recently. L luckily, Mr. Heaton showed up and brought the good weather. Yeah. Brought the interesting skies. It's yeah. good. Yeah, fantastic. But it is, because I've been uh, home from Patagonia for about a week now, and from as soon as I landed, it's been freezing cold, wet and windy, so I can only imagine what it's been like here. Oh. Yeah, this is nice. I don't, know, I don't know what all the fuss is about. This is beautiful. Yeah. This, is, this is gorgeous. Right now, we have this direct light. Got really impressive storm clouds. Got some... Kind of boggy ground that I'm getting acquainted with. Oh yeah, Americans. <laughs> Americans apparently don't have bugs. No, we have things called dirt yeah, and no. soil. How are your roads? Uh, wider, wider than these. Yes. We, we, you know, we, we go to the trouble to build both lanes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, we can't be bothered. Single track only on this island. <laughs> but the reason we're here, uh, we've stopped, we've pulled. Whoa, that's a big snake. Huh? That is an adder. Wow, I've never seen an adder before. Oh, there he is, right by my tripod. Wow, so before the excitement of seeing an adder, which I nearly stood on, very cool, very cool indeed. Yeah, we've stopped because there's this wonderful view. Uh, it's two loch hands just over my shoulder there, it's very bright. Um, and uh, that's kind of what we were looking at shooting, but as nice as they are, I don't, I'm not feeling it right now. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll continue on and we'll try and get to the coast and hopefully reach the coast for sunset and get a lovely, nice, colorful sunset on a beautiful white sandy beach. That's, that's the goal. Who knows if we'll get that or not, no idea. <laughs> Slight change of plan. I want to show you something because on our drive, spotted this tree just here. And it looks fantastic. The light's just catching it. Uh, definitely a very quick shot to be had. And I've not even got my camera. So I'm going to grab it and see if we can get a very quick photograph. So I've just gone for a little walk on the hill here. There's my van, there's the tree. There are scattered, bluebells scattered everywhere. Being very, very careful not to tread on any. I don't want to do that, but they're very thinly spread. And just trying to find a little composition with this tree, um, some nice clouds behind the tree, and maybe, if I'm lucky, a few bluebells in the foreground. I have to move quick because the light's not going to stick around very long, so. Uh, yeah, this might make for a nice little image. I don't think it's anything super special, but certainly worth worth stopping for and shooting. Yeah, lovely, right? I guess it up. So 
So it's quite a nice scene, it's very simple, very straightforward. We've got a lovely bit of light just catching the tree there, you can see that. And in the, the foreground's reasonably interesting, so we've got all of the ferns unravelling, we have a few bluebells dotted around. Not really a carpet of bluebells, but a few, just enough to add some interest. And yeah, it's a very straightforward shot. I, I'm using a graduated filter to stop medium edge, and that's just because the sky is so much brighter than the foreground, and I really want to get this in a single shot. And I have a nice clean horizon, so it's really simple to use the grad without it being too noticeable. And it's just, the composition is so simple, it's the, the foreground with the ferns and the splashes of blue from the bluebells leading up to this tree. Quite an interesting sky, vibrant green leaves, very colourful scene with the purples, the blues in the sky and the green. Simple F11 focus on the tree, single exposure, two second timer. A very quick shot as we're passing, I'm going to take this and then head back down to the van. And yeah, all in all it's a nice scene and well worth shooting. There we go. First image here on Mull. Fantastic. Oh, where's um, Gavin and Adam, by the way? You know, it's something, something to do with a lens cloth. That's all I know. I, Adam was mad, and Gavin was awkward. I don't know. Something about lens cloth. Come on, Nick. We're back in Canada. Deep. So this reminds me of a time in January when we were falling over in... Five foot of snow. It? Man down! What is it about the lack of walking paths when I'm with you? Are you okay? I am okay. Don't pull me down. Wait, wait, you're gonna have to pull me up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Come on! What? How are you so stuck? Oh, we've got to show the people at home your foot. <laughs> so, for the record, doesn't happen in the United States. We have proper soil. Have you ever heard of clay and rock? <laughs> what is this? Like, what is this? You're not coming in my van with that on. Oh God. Had a bit of an arduous journey across some boggy fields to try and shoot some lovely birch trees backlit by the setting sun. But I don't, I don't think Nick's a happy camper. <laughs> Oh no. No, I preferred the first trees that were just like by, right by the road. <laughs> I don't feel like Scotland is treating me very well. Well, look at this blue sky, <laughs> sunshine, no wind. This yeah, is as this good is as nice. it's ever going to get. It's, it's an improvement, it's for sure. Okay, well, the light is uh, definitely on its way out, so <sighs> we need to find something nice to photograph. <laughs> Uh, I, will, I will, however, blame you because you were driving. <coughs> you were yeah. driving, so you take the blame. Okay, fair enough. Even right. though I was the navigator. <laughs> so after Nick recovered from his encounter with a Scottish bog, we headed down towards the coast where we got some beautiful light, perfect for some landscape photography. But you know, a good image often requires more than just good light. So you can see the light is uh, really going off around me now. It's a beautiful evening, but you may, you may have noticed that I am not breaking out the camera. I'm not running around shooting images because I've kind of accepted that I can't find anything here that I'm happy with. Um, and I think the worst thing that I could have done is run around with all of this light and all of this goodness, desperately scrambling for a composition wrestling with my tripod and trying to just get something just for the sake of it just just because there's lights i think that would frustrate me more and it would uh it, i would certainly leave a lot less happy than i am by just being here i think there's a boat gonna go past in a minute there it is <laughs> yeah really um it's really quite nice to just be okay with not getting an image i'm fine with it i got that image of the tree before I saw an adder earlier which was fantastic, you know, I don't need an image this evening. I'm quite content sat here just, just watching it with my eyes, which uh, 
is, is underrated. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite liberating. Being okay with not taking an image is liberating. I'm not saying I haven't tried. All I've done is walk around these rocks for about the past 45 minutes, but I just couldn't find anything. Couldn't find anything. And then when the lights start to go off like it is doing now, it's kind of okay, you know? I don't feel too bad. I feel quite blessed to be able to enjoy it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a fun one. I know, uh, go over and watch Nick's channel or subscribe to his Instagram or something like that and you can see what image he's shooting because I know he's got a nice composition. But sadly, not me, not today. Yeah, it's definitely time for bed. It's been a very, very long day, so. Well, good morning, everybody. And it's now the next day. And although I didn't get a shot yesterday evening, maybe that's gonna change this morning. Or maybe not, I don't know. But I've, with me and Nick, it was, uh, just over there, I've come down to this area, not too far from where we were camping, and you've got these old ruins, these old shipwrecks, these old beached boats, beautifully textured, rotten wood, two big boats laying side by side right by the water's edge, and it's a beautiful scene, it's fantastic, it's one that you would drive past and immediately think, wow, I want to stop and photograph that. I'm walking around these boats, and I'm struggling to see how I'm going to photograph them and that is because of one reason and that is the direction of the sunlight. The sun is rising over there which is directly, directly behind the boats. The best thing to do is jump in the van, make a coffee and then maybe look for some nice detail shots, some nice close-up abstract images of the boats. <sighs> but yeah, it's so still this morning as well, very cold, it's about zero and the wildlife is just making some beautiful sounds, it's fantastic. Phenomenal morning. Yeah, and these boats are great. <laughs> So I made my coffee, so I'm feeling a lot better, but still not happy with the composition. Um, I framed a very, very simple shot here. You see the boats just there. It's a square shot, straight down the bow of the ships. And then they'll be getting some lovely side light from the uh, rising sun off behind them. But the problem is it's still too harsh and I'm still dealing with overly bright highlights. And it's a very, very straightforward, simple shot, a very obvious shot. Uh, it's, I still think it's gonna be nice, but I also kind of don't think it's gonna be anything special. Um, and I might not even take it. I'm still waiting to see what the light does. And maybe I'll wander around and try and get something a bit more abstract. But I think with this type of photography, light is everything. And at the minute, it's really not looking good. The fact that the sun is directly behind the boats, which in some instances could be amazing if there was some high cloud catching the colour. But there's no clouds. There's a couple of low clouds on the horizon there. But other than that, it's pretty much blue skies. It seems very negative. <laughs> Let's start again. So despite coming across quite negative in that piece of the camera, I was actually feeling really good and was pleasantly surprised by the final image. 
But now the sun was up, I wanted to see if I could get something more abstract and perhaps maybe get a more intimate detailed shot. So me and Nick Page set about the task of exploring the boats and looking for those finer detailed shots. I'm loving all of these really old, you know, rusty nails. And so I'm yeah. doing kind of a shallow depth of field looking up. up it's getting a light. Beam here. Oh, shallow depth of field looking up the beam. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting my artsy fartsy on as I like. Artsy to fartsy. It's not often that I get to see a old ship because we don't have those in the Palouse. No, that's no. a shame. We don't even have water in the Palouse, so. Yep. I don't know what the Palouse is, but. <sighs> You, you would like it, Thomas. It's oh, all, yeah, I've seen your it's images. All, it's all telephoto, it's all abstract, it's all shapes and patterns. You'd love it. That does sound good. Sounds right up my street. Right, I better see if I can find an image on this old wrecked boat. Well, I have tried to find myself a nice abstract image of these boats, but the the more I look and the harder I try, the less I see. It's, uh, it's funny how that works sometimes. The one thing that really caught my interest is this small sapling that's growing out of the boat. And I love the idea of that. I love the idea that nature is reclaiming the boat. But as much as I try, there is no way for me to compose an image where the tree fits and it all looks nice and works in harmony. Uh, it's just so chaotic and messy and with the bright blue sky, behind the boat it simply doesn't work and that's a shame and that can be frustrating but that's one of the things with photography not everything that looks good makes for an interesting photograph and it's the same for things such as these boats and big views you know big viewpoints don't always make for great photographs so on and so forth so it's really knowing uh, when not to take a photograph as much as when to take a photograph and that's exactly what I'm thinking right now. So the sun is up, the light's getting more and more harsh every minute, so I'm gonna call it a video. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and tune in next time um, for more antics and more photography, hopefully anyway, here on the Isle of Mull. Bye for now.